Uh, hello there and uh, welcome back. So in the previous video we have designed our main activity layout and as you can see we have one image view and uh, one button. So with this video we're going to start by implementing uh, Facebook uh, SDK. So navigate to developers.facebook.com and uh, we're going to choose uh, our application here and we're going to start by implementing this uh, Facebook SDK. So uh, here uh, click uh, Facebook login and uh, cl uh, click uh, quick start so select the android platform and we're going to follow this uh, documentation for implementing this uh, into our uh, application so first uh, as you can see uh, let's zoom in a little bit so we can see more uh, clearly okay uh, so first we need to add the uh, dependencies inside our uh, android application and the first step is uh, to add this uh, Maven uh, Central. So it says that, uh, okay, this uh, Maven Central and uh, the other implementation as well. So let's add first this uh, Maven Central. Okay, navigate to your uh, Gradle build uh, file, project level, level project as you want. And paste that here, click sync now. Okay. That's finished, so uh, we're going to open up uh, a level module and here let's paste this implementation. Okay, copy that and uh, let's paste that here, down below, click sync now and uh, wait for Android Studio to finish the, pro the process. Alright, so uh, the next thing uh, we can also add uh, those imports. Uh, as you can see inside our main activity class or we can add them uh, later but let's add them now if you want so just paste them here on the top with the rest of uh, imports okay we are going to use those uh, later in this course okay so click next and uh, this is the third step so here we need to paste our package name and uh, our activity our activity name as well so in order to see your package name you need to go to uh, Android manifest file and here on the top you will uh, copy this package and uh, we're going to paste that uh, inside our first input and in the second input we're going to paste the same code uh, but with our uh, main activity here as well because it says that the default activity class name so our default activity in this case is main activity okay and click save so it will say that uh, there is a problem by uh, verifying this package uh, this package is not available on google play but uh, it doesn't matter you don't have to uh, be uh, available on google to uh, to use this uh, facebook sdk so just click ok and uh, next thing uh, we need to export our uh, key hash so as you can see, to ensure the authenticity of interactions between uh, your application and Facebook, we need to generate this uh, development key hash. Also, uh, if your uh, application is available on Google Play, you need to uh, generate uh, release key hash as well. But since this is just a test, we will not generate the release key hash, uh, only the development key hash. So in order to do that, uh, first we need to click this Google Code Archive and from there uh, we need to download this uh, open uh, SSL so I'm going to download this 64-bit uh, version and after that we're going to unzip this into a folder okay so extract uh, to this directory so open that directory and uh, we're going to use this uh, directory path later so close that and let's copy this code here uh, for Windows and uh, let's uh, create a simple text file on uh, our desktop so I'm going to show you how to properly um, format this uh, code so let's zoom in a little bit and uh, as you can see uh, here where it says the username uh, you need to replace that with your uh, desktop or your PC username in my case this is uh, Stefan so I'm going to add that okay and uh, after that here where it says path to open SSL library 
we need to delete that and uh, let's copy this path so our SSL is located here so I'm going to copy this uh, path and uh, I'm going to paste that uh, right here okay so uh, this path uh, should be pasted uh, on uh, one place as well so here once more paste this code this path and uh, now we have uh, properly formatted our uh, command so uh, the next thing we are going to open a command prompt so click uh, uh, windows key and r plus r and type uh, cmd so uh, now we need to navigate to our java uh, directory so my java directory is located in program files java then this is uh, jdk and the uh, bin so the bin should be the last uh, directory in this path and uh, copy this path and uh, in command prompt you need to type cd then space then paste this path so from this uh, path from our java directory we need to execute this uh, key hash code so let's copy that and just paste that here Control v to paste that okay and click enter so you will be prompted to enter the password uh, in order to generate this key hash so type uh, random password okay and it will automatically generate this uh, key hash code so copy that select that and click ctrl c to copy and we're going to paste this uh, key hash into our uh, facebook developers account okay so let's get back to our uh, developers uh, facebook and here uh, just paste this code and uh, click save okay and now click continue so uh, the next thing here uh, we can enable this si uh, single sign-on so basically this means that uh, only uh, one user is able to log in uh, per, uh, per application per account and uh, next we need to copy these uh, strings inside our uh, android project so open up strings xml file and paste those two lines all right uh, then next we need to add the internet permission inside our uh, Android manifest file, so let's do that here as well. Okay. And uh, the last thing here in this step is to add this uh, code inside our uh, Android manifest file as well, inside our application uh, element and just below our main activity. Okay, so basically we're uh, adding here a Facebook activity so you don't have to worry about this activity it's uh, automatically uh, handled and uh, managed by a Facebook SDK so there is nothing to worry about that click next and uh, uh, here we're, go we're going to stop this video here because it's already around uh, eight minutes and uh, in the next video we're going to continue by implementing a Facebook SDK